Hey everybody, Chris Jones here. Today we're going to talk about using the Teradek Bolt Pro 300 with the Facewear Pro HD head cam system. I'll show you how to set it up and give you some tips and tricks. We'll start by making sure that the transmitter is going to be attached to our belt. So I'll grab the Pro HD belt here, and as you can see this one doesn't have the transmitter already installed on it. So if you have to take the transmitter on or off, I'll show you how to do that. We'll set the belt down and you'll notice the three metal eyelets. We're gonna be using these two to mount the Bolt 300. So it goes like this, we'll be using these two holes through. For the bottom, we'll take our long bolt, take it through the bottom, and the short bolt's gonna end up going through the top. Long bolt goes right through, and we can Attach that there, and the short bolt is going to thread directly in instead of threading through. Tighten that, come back through, hold the back, and tighten the front. We've got that on. You'll notice there's Velcro here to stick to the belt. Next, we'll make sure we've got the unit powered up. The long power cable coming out of the back of the battery plate powers the transmitter. Red dot out on the Limo connector, clicks right in. Here's going to be your power switch for later. The outside connector is SDI in. This is where you would plug the head camera feed into. Now I've got the transmitter set, I'll show you how to hook up the receiver. If you ever need to know the difference, the receiver is physically larger than the transmitter. So I'm going to put a, use this clamp here, screw it into the bottom. Uh, I believe it's a quarter 20 thread. So there's a lot of different mounting options for the receiver. You generally want it uh, high and in the open. These fins here show you which direction the antenna is facing. You want to keep them pointed towards the actor. So today, I'm just going to mount this to the front of the table to show you. Power, same thing. There's an included AC adapter power supply, two-pin Limo connection. That plugs right in. Then I'll grab a BNC cable. Now this hooks right there, and on the other side of the connection is our HDSDI video. So we can plug that into any record deck we want, and in our case, it's going to be the AJA Key Pro. Now that we got the receiver and transmitter set up, let me give you some tips about using the Bolt. First thing you're going to want to know is they recommend no more than four in any one space. Also, Teradek recommends spacing the receivers at least six feet apart. I try to space them in like four corners of a stage if I'm using four at once. And if you are using two or more Teradek systems at the same time, Teradek recommends waiting 60 seconds between power cycling a connection. So I like to leave all the receivers on and then power cycle the transmitters. You don't have to wait that long, especially if you're in a hurry but it does help to provide clear channels as the Teradek will have more time to make sure that there's no interference in the bandwidth that it's looking. And finally, we recommend to keep these things high up and open and clear. Try not to put any obstructions in front of the antenna uh, and keep these fins pointed at your talent. Well, that information should get you started using the Teradex with Facewear's Pro HD head cam system. If you need more information or support, you can contact us at faceweartech.com support or teradec.com support to learn more about the bolts.